Okay, we're talking about a new projection screen that de came derived out of the optical work done by a company called Luminate. And in fact, you've spun off a new division of the company, shall we say, called Crystal Screens. Great name, by the way. Um, and that's what's, that's what's the part of the company that's working on this projection screen technology, right? That's true. We just mm -hmm. moved to a new facility uh, a few weeks ago. Oh, cool. Um, and I believe the new screen material is called Reflect. Have I got that right? I guess that's what um, describes screen the most. I think reflect is more like a gain of the screen. Mm. So the product name will be reflect, for example, 2.5 or reflect 4, which is translation of the gain of the screen. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to talk a lot about gain here in a bit. Um, but first, I want to sort of just talk a little bit about the, the construct, how, how the screen is is constructed and we have a graphic uh, number one and uh, let's take a look at that which is shows the basic structure which there's a substrate and then there's a, a, a light diffuser a light shaping diffuser or LSD uh, on the top of that uh, will one of you sort of tell us a little bit about each of these pieces okay I can describe that so if you look at, uh, it says rigid substrate, but um, you can actually use any type of substrate. This is just a graphic that was available. Um, so we have a substrate, and we lay on top of that our diffuser structure. So one of the advantages we have over um, many other type of diffusers is that since this, all the power of the diffusion comes from the surface shape, our surface shape can be transferred from one tool to another or to our final product. So since it's a surface relief microstructure, we can transfer the surface relief onto uh, a substrate. Mm -hmm. So the okay. substrate that uh, you see on that picture, probably one of the pictures uh, where we have a snapshot of our web production system. The substrate we use is a film. It, it can be transparent. Uh, normally we use polycarbonate film that um, available on the market today. Mm -hmm. and, and we print our structure right on the top of that uh, screen, which is called cast and cure, roll to roll process. So once we finish that structure, which is on a diagram, the next step is to apply reflective layer right on the top of that structure, which is done by a physical vapor deposition process. And we have a large variety of um, reflective materials that we can apply. And the last year, uh, layer, that invisible, protective. So protective layer designed to make sure that screen will be more or less cleanable and uh, protect a uh, reflective layer from oxidation. Mm, mm -hmm. Now, so the reflective layer is deposited by a physical vapor deposition right. onto the top of this diffuser material with, with this pseudo-random microstructure, correct? Correct. Um, yes. So the, and the, the diffuser, the... Um, Substrate layer, though, even though it looks pretty thick in that diagram, is actually quite thin, right? Well, yes, it can be anything anywhere from 30 mils to a couple mils, five mils material of choice. Mm -hmm. But compare, compare to the thickness of epoxy, which is less than 30 microns, and even much thinner layer of physical vapor deposition. It's look pretty thick, but yes, it's very thin, very flexible, uh, strong, optically great film. Mm -hmm. One of the people I spoke to uh, from your company said that it was not unlike a mirror, an actual mirror with a diffuser layer 
without the diffuser layer, it would look like a mirror. It would just, you know, you'd see your reflection in, like in a mirror, but the diffuser layer is what makes it appropriate as a projection screen. Have, is that about right? Yeah, that's about right, because what you see is mirror on the top of the diffuser. It's perfectly reflective. If you have a, anywhere in the screen flat spot, you will see perfect mirror or perfect sparkle. Mm. So here's a picture of the same picture that we've got, but with light rays coming in. Right. And right. clearly we they call, get reflected in different directions because of the structure of this uh, uh, light shaping diffuser. Because uh, quasi pseudo none of them the same microstructure. Yeah, right. Create, uh, create very impressive um, diffusion or reflective process. We call front surface first uh, reflective mm -hmm. phenomena. Now, so the light, light doesn't bounce from each other. It just bounces from the surface going back. Right. As opposed to other companies, other screens that use different types of, of uh, diffusion material, and we have the next picture shows an example of that. Some companies use uh, actually tiny little glass beads on the surface of the of the screen to diffract, the, diffuse the light. Uh, but there's a problem there. What is it? Let, and we, as we look at this graphic, you can tell us what the problem is here. Okay, I can go over that. Mm -hmm. So if you look, as the light rays hit a single bead, you get multiple reflections and transmission points. Now, each time you go through a transmission, you're going to get some losses. Some of it's reflected. Uh, but uh, other things that can happen is absorption inside of the beads. And when you reflect off the backside, you don't necessarily get all of the reflection coming back. So because of the multiple reflections and transmission, uh, the efficiency is uh, not as high. I think right. there is a second factor to it, right? Uh, efficiency is uh, one of the major factors, but second is control. Uh, mm. Using glass beads or some industry using aluminum flakes, uh, you cannot control the light cone output, uh, which is our structures enabled to have very controllable uh, cone of light coming back to the viewer. Uh, 